Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is Q1 of the weekly contest 390, maximum length substring with two occurrences. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this one. Um, to be honest, when I saw the, for, uh, when I first saw this problem, I was double checking that there wasn't a part two because this is a very um, obvious sliding window problem. Uh, but also, to be honest, because this was Q1, I looked at, I double checked the constraint first. And since the constraint is 100, I did a very lazy thing um, so that I can kind of get it fast, right? And I did it in a minute and 22 seconds. Eh, maybe it's a, not that fast, but it's still fast enough for me. Um, and the way that I did it is going to be um, n squared times alpha. Um, and like I said, you could do it with a sliding window. Um, we, we probably have done. I mean, there are multiple Lico videos on or Lico problems and my, my videos on those problems, and you could probably look for them. But the idea here is that, okay, I start with I, I start with J, and I could even have done N cubed, to be honest, but, you know, it's not really even necessary, right? It's just um, basically just starting at I and then incrementally add one for J. And yeah, if the max of all the values is less than or equal to two, this is going to be all of, so this is all of N, this is O of n, and this is O of alpha. You don't even need that because the only place that changes is here. But it's a Q1. I, I, I did the math. It was going to be fast enough, so it's fine. Um, so I did, just wanted to be lazy. And then if that's then I just maximize the length, and that's all I have. Like I said, this is going to be n times n times alpha. You can reduce this all the way down to O of n um, and O of alpha space if you prefer, and that's what you should do. Keeping in mind that um, if you're watching this in the future, and I guess you have to be because you can't watch this in the past. Uh, if you're watching this in the future, my optimization for this solution, this code, is for solving it during a contest. And for solving it during a contest, I'm trying to solve it as quick as I can. And I solved it in uh, 82 seconds, right? So that's keep that in mind. But if you're doing it at home and Apologies if you're trying to get some hints, but sliding windows is what I would recommend. Especially if you did it this way, that's fine. Get more practice, do it sliding window, give yourself, you know, an extra up solving is what they call it. So yeah, that's all I have for this one though. Let me know what you think. Let me know how you did it. Let me know if you did the fast way or the slow way or, you know, but yeah, uh, in both complexity or your solving speed. But yeah, that's all I have for this one. And you could watch me solve it live in the contest next. Is this? Huh, this is not a part one. I thought there'll be a harder one, but um, yeah, okay. It's not the sliding window one, but I don't care. <sighs> Should double check though, to be honest. Yeah, thanks for watching everybody. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord, leave a comment about what you think about this poem, this contest, everything in between. Uh, stay good, stay healthy, do good mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.